need fifty dollars. But who is going to be able to add fifty more? Scubs Lucina versus BZ Wolf. And really, this is the culmination of almost two months of work. It's true, yeah. You know, especially from March seventeenth. It's really, March really 17th a testament. March seventeenth was the very first tournament. It's a testament to his skill that he managed to earn second seed in this tournament despite only being able to play in one half of the qualifiers because he was busy running the other half. And it's now true. here he is in winner's side of grand finals. Against the player who's dominated this entire scene for almost three years now. Two different yeah. games. Oh, he went for back air off of that dash stack. I've never seen a wolf do that before. Same, based on some of the stuff wolf. you were telling me about easy. their... Based on what you were telling me about their winner set, I feel like I'm going to see a lot of brand new wolf stuff in yeah. this set. He was on another level in the previous set. That's a bad up B. Yeah, he can get up aired for that. Not despite his... Despite his best efforts, though, he didn't put out the counter. That up smash, Gets another bad up B, yep. and BZ unafraid to punish. Up smash kills super early with rage. Especially max rage. Definitely swings the tide in BZ's favor. Yeah, BZ's not going to fall for that roll read. A lot of people would, but... Ooh! Oh another BZ goodness. down air! Easy, fantastic stock right there. That's honestly watching his wolf combo is like beautiful recovery too. A raw dolphin Good slash takes it. There. But he's down a full stock. Finally, stop. one of those upbeats works out. And BZ's now, if been... anybody can make a comeback like this, it's Scubs. But Beezy has been Beezy out of just his seems mind. Like he's on another level. Okay, gets the parry. He wants that pot bonus. Reads the spot dodge. Misses the tech, but Scubs can't really get an opening there. Down through dash attack. Oh, Scubs he has up and then Dolphin slashes. Will he read something here? He'll try to. But BZ has the patience and the resolve to avoid it. And that time he rolls. He does the exact thing that Scubs tried to cover the last time BZ was on the ledge. Rolls again, though. And Scubs is not ready for it. it this time. Down smash just barely misses. Tries to read a jump. Honestly, no this block. is one this is one nair flash away from being BZ's game. Yeah. Actually Nair Flash won't confirm here, but Fair Flash will. On the right DI. Or rather on the wrong DI. Scubs gets the down air. He's got a lot of work to do, but like I said, Scubs is uh no stranger to making comebacks. He oh, he jump. catches the jump. That's big. Great up B. Perfect up B. That was a perfect angle. Anything lower would have been caught by the up. Or caught oh, by the up I like that gets flash. Sour spot flash. All right, got him off stage. F tilt almost kills. It's a risky Whiffs play. Whiffs the counter. Oh, F tilt's the wrong way. What's that F tilt could have been it. Oh, Scubs. Scubs is passive there. I thought he was going to go for another read. Off Does that the Nair take it? Catches the jump. Wow. And that's a huge swing of momentum. Yeah. Very impressive comeback Scubs. from Scubs. What an electrifying game number one, honestly. Yeah, it was back and forth the whole way. Yeah. Crazy. Well, I mm. doubt we see BZ switch. His wolf has been putting in work. Yeah. Something catastrophic would have to happen, I think, for him to switch here. Indeed. And that was far from catastrophic. Wolf is... That was a few key mistakes right wolf, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. And he'll yeah, he'll adjust for sure. <clears throat> wolf no has almost always been the most successful pick for BZ uh, in these Wi Fi tournaments against Scubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's no surprise that he's gonna ride Wolf out for as long as he possibly can. I tell you, if that's the game number one that these guys produced, then we're in for one hell of a set. No kidding. Or sets. Yeah, it could be sets.
back and forth to start once again. Oh, oh my goodness, he countered it. Unlucky for BZ right there, but Scubs breathing a sigh of relief, not having to work very hard to take that first stop. Really creative recovery there from BZ. Gets that wall jump into a back here to reestablish a bit of stage control. It's very tough to edgeguard BZ on a walled stage. Goes for the same option again, unpunished. So down smash. Gets the back hit the of down beat. smash. That's the way she goes. Yeah, this game is looking a lot more one sided. Good on BZ to not shield there. I probably would have landed and just put up a shield. I was scared. Oh. Just gets clipped. It's got, that comes was off a with the ledge moment. aggressively, and it. Yeah, I don't think BZ was ready for it, or maybe just was slow reacting because of Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you just stand Back there. Back throw there. Scub's up a full stock. Not for long. This really oh! could get out of control if yeah. BZ doesn't get something soon. F tilt doesn't kill. My goodness. If he had gotten both hits of the F tilt, it would have, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Normally, I would expect uh, Kalos be to be a good wolf, wolf counter pick. Yep. Nair into fair. There's no rage now that killed isn't even near so. killing. Yeah, this is starting to spiral out of control, unfortunately. There we go. An F tilt to clean up. Much more manageable now. He's gonna need... He's gonna need one of those, uh... One of those ridiculous like outbursts that he had in, uh... Yeah. A couple of those would be really handy right now. Flash. Needed that flash. Barely. So I was noticing, uh, it seemed like there were quite a few lag spikes in that game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop spectating just to make sure that this is the best connection possible for Grand Finals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But I will still be on hand to hopefully say something witty and entertaining every now and then. Haven't done it yet, Squire. It's been a while, I know. Now I wonder if BZ may choose a different character just for this game. Maybe he'll go Rob. Rob has been the other option that he's picked a lot of the time. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or possibly Lucina Ditto. Maybe, yeah. Well, based on the sounds of things, looks like that Lucina Ditto may be what we're getting. Interesting. Maybe he's just going to get some data in time for what seems to be an eventuality in uh, this set, set having a set number two. Yeah. Just recreate old melee commentary while Dunk commentates. No, I don't want to wake my parents up. All right, chat, you just tell Squire what's going on, and he'll commentate for you. You can just say something in the chat, and I'll say it. BZ's Lucina, off but... to a pretty good start so far. Able to land a few clean hits on Scubs here. Just out of, just out of curiosity, uh, out of curiosity, how far behind are we? Like, what's the time? Uh, what does the time say for you right now? Time left in the match. 6.15. Okay, we're about seven seconds behind then. That's unbearable. Yeah. 
So yeah, so much for me trying to do play by play. <laughs> Even stocks. Just charges S smash on the neutral getup. Because he manages to make it back though. Well, maybe this Lucina was more than just about gathering data. Maybe he actually felt that he could make an impact immediately. You know, it's possible. He is far from out of this game. Just waits out the shield breaker. The question is, if this game doesn't go well, would Scubs consider switching to Cloud? I mean, with how the previous ones went, I'm doubtful. Just does the F smash. Yeah, again, we might... Again, we might need to see something catastrophic. Yeah. Definitely. And I don't think this game can get catastrophic with how it's going. Yeah. E like, even if BZ manages to win, it's going to be a clean win. For sure. Oh, but not like that. What percent was he at? Wow. 50 after the hit. Oh. Well. That is a 3-0 in the first set of Grand Finals over here, but I suspect we'll see a different story than that last game for the second set. I would hope so, anyway. Oh, that... I really hope that BZ has a, a fair bit of fight left in him. I want to see some compelling gameplay and... Just an outright showdown between our province's two best players. Mm hmm. So I guess we're going to try this again. Chat, press 1 if you want Scubs to lose, press 2 if you want BZ to lose. Chat has spoken. <clears throat> RGF Esports themselves getting involved. Nice to see them setting an, setting an example for the interactivity that they want from their chat. Yeah, that's really, really cool of them. For sure. Lots of ones, not a single two. Oh, there's one. Somebody wants Scubs to win. Sounds fake. Yeah, they said JK. So, set two. Looks like, based on Smash GG, BZ is going to be going Rob. No spoilers. It <laughs> can look like we're high-fiving next time BZ wins. I think we can manage. We can try. Up to 17 viewers. I think we peaked at about 28 uh, last night. But people are starting to understand the, uh, the gravity of this match. So... Alright, so oh my goodness. Rob. Pretty well timed dare. <laughs> Off to a great start. Yeah, can't like complain about Like within three seconds like of that. switching to gameplay. Within three seconds of switching to gameplay, BZ got a dunk. Mm-hmm. Shoutouts to his older brother. Yep. I know as soon as I said it, I thought about trying to say something, but then I Left it to you. Ooh, that might be it. Oh, but he grabs the ledge. If he hadn't grabbed the ledge, I actually think he might have been able to kill him. There. Another down air! Boom, boom, boom! Rob not turning out too poorly at all. Wow. Looked like a bit of a, a mistake on the up B.
from Scubs, but BZ's definitely going to capitalize. 144. Actually, I'm not doing that. Parries! Oh, so clutch. That's what you were looking for. He parries the... <laughs> nice. Parries the shield breaker. And he gets stage control back because of it. <laughs> I think it's the most satisfying move to parry. Even if it doesn't lead to very much. He's in quite the commanding position right here in this game one. Rob is such a crazy character, man. Yeah. One of those characters with a fairly obvious game plan, but there's a certain degree of deception that they can, that Rob players can uh, employ with the options that you know they're going to use. Oh, Especially on Wi-Fi, it's really tough to handle. Well, might turn this one around. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Oh, but great control of the stage right here. BZ just needs a good hit! Oh my... He barely, barely sneaks his way to life there. But Scubs is gonna need to pull things together and not get hit once more. That so side many B was probably 2% away from killing. Yeah, it was probably a One. single extra hit of that side B from a killing. Yeah. One one grab is all BZ needs. I think he can probably get up smash at this percent. Or above if he's on the platform and up throw. Yeah, for sure. Oh, so scary. So scary. Back airs back on stage. Oh, but manages to sneak out of the corner with Lucina. The Harry F Tilt manages to take it. I can't believe Scubs brought that back. Wow. That is crucial. Especially considering the amazing lead that BC raced out to. He's not going to be happy to do that. And then that other dunk. For sure. That's four consecutive games for Scubs. And BC is starting to run out of characters, unfortunately. I mean, I, I don't expect that he'll switch. That Rob game was more than doable. If he does switch, it would be... But it's certainly... Yeah, for sure. Probably not CSS. <laughs> he did win a set with ZSS earlier today. What do you do? AMAC saying stay Rob. I trust AMAC. Oh, okay. Well, he's staying row. Three, two, one, go! He's staying row, but he's going rogue. Very Let's interesting see how the choice Roy here. manages to pull things off in this one. I've seen this Roy work some wonders in the past. It's his answer for Nadia now. Like, it's consistently beating yeah. Nadia. But Scubs and Lucina, I think, are different beasts in, uh... Yeah, no kidding. In the context of what Roy wants to do. So, have to see how this works out. One jab away. Sure. One jab, maybe one jar. And then he can also ledge trap really well with Jeff Tilt. Damn, bro, you got the whole squad laughing. I can sense it. 
Okay. You know, he's making something work. But we said the same thing in the last game, and Scub's just so clutch. It's alright, Bug Doctor has my back. We can't forget about Jebel, Jedge, Jance. It's actually called Jimmit Drostlash. Jimmit Drostlash, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the upbeat. True, the overlay is in fact wrong. I hate this. Keeps switching. Illegal. For the record, it's not our fault. The problem is that every time these players switch characters or switch stages, a different person joins the the ring first. So these guys just didn't win each other's games, switch characters or switch stages. Everything would be fine. Yeah, like put it on random stages and random characters. And don't or win on same your character. counter pick. Exactly. If this were best of one, everything would be fine. <clears throat> like best of one, eight stock or something. Exactly. So fairly even game. Mm -hmm. The Roy is holding its own, <clears throat> but... You know, with how Scub's kind of exploded on that last stock against the Rob, it's Could concerning well that he hasn't built way. up more of a lead with the Roy. Yeah. Ooh! Just hits him. Dead even once more. The main issue last game was honestly just the fact that Scub survived until 160 against yeah. the Robs. I think I want to see BZ be a little bit more perceptive of some of the, the habits that Scub's throwing out by the ledge. Maybe he can oh, capitalize with one of Roy's really how? powerful sweet spotted moves. That was crazy. My goodness. Just saw that now. Scub's once again clutches out a game. And it's now 2-0. 2-0 in this set, 5-0 in Grand Finals overall. And Scubs is just three stocks away from taking home the Sask Online Ultimate Circuit Championship and $100 in prize money. My goodness, what a turn of events here. Yeah. I can't believe the comebacks in both of these games. Yeah. Now BZ in a spot where he needs to reverse 3-0 Scubs to get a win. I mean, he 3 0 him on winner's side. It's something he can do. I wonder what character he goes here. I think he's wondering too. Yeah. Sounds He's like sticking, uh, Roy. Sticking with the Roy, yep. What may be the final game of the entire circuit comes down to this. Scubs versus BZ, Lucina versus Roy. What's BZ going to do if he wants to make Sask this McCune go on? versus Regina. The air dodge slings him into the blast zone. Healthy lead for Scubs. He doesn't want to give up a single game. <clears throat> Scubs is very comfortable right now. 
He's just kind of staying in that spot where he knows BZ might pull the trigger and then just responding whenever BZ does something that isn't quite optimal or effective. Mm -hmm. I think BZ's going to be hard pressed to find the amount of openings that he needs to pull this game back. If anyone in this province can do it though. Yep, besides Scubs, nobody in this province is at the cali is the, the level of player that BC is. The player of his caliber has certainly made more challenging comebacks in the past. But with this a deficit healthy isn't impossible. two stocks to one lead, BZ has his work cut out for him. Yeah, counter there. Not impossible. Roy can steal, can steal stocks out really early, but... I imagine we're going to see Scubs stick to that sort of safe, defensive, almost smothering type of play style. And BZ is going to have to. These counters are so play effective. Some of the, he's going to have to play some of the best smash of his life to come back. Yeah, amazing counters here. Oh, the weak hit of the F smash. Last stock. But just a single mistake. And there it is. 3-0. Scubs over BZ.